it was crazy. Like just literally being in Bend, Oregon, having the guy I'm working with be in like Chicago, Illinois, the production team being in Connecticut and the game actually being in South Korea. And the guy who's up to bat is from Venezuela. And I'm like, <laughs> this is crazy. Like, but it was awesome. What a trip. Jessica Mendoza was providing colored commentary for Korean baseball really? in the middle of the night That's from her true. home in Bend. Pretty cool. Mendoza is an Olympic gold medalist, Hall of Fame softball player, an ESPN analyst, a wife and mother of two, living in Oregon. There's a sense of just really just being who you are and being accepted, regardless of what that looks like. But I feel like I'm home. I have to bow down to the queen, Jessica Mendoza. Three straight yeah. pitches, change up, curveball, curveball. Look like, how is this happening. Come. This is the best team in the American League. Mendoza is a pioneer in the broadcast world, continuously making history. The first woman to serve as an analyst for nationally televised MLB games. I realized that when I'm going to work every day that there's thousands of girls, there's hundreds of thousands of women that want to break that same barrier. And it might not be within Major League Baseball, it could be within their workplace. And the most important thing that I think I understand is that this isn't about me doing a good job for myself, my own job but really to be successful so that more men who are hiring understand that women are just as equal to, if not better, at, at so many jobs that are out there. There's been criticism along the way and pressure to succeed with so many looking up to her. I feel that pressure of hundreds of thousands of girls and women and like the expectation and not just women, but Hispanics. I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, so awesome. <laughs> like there's days it's, it's hard. I mean, I feel that anxiety and that pressure for sure in a way that can sometimes be overwhelming, but then I have to think about it like, okay, but at the end of the day, like just do your job well, and you're going to be doing that for this many people. In 2020, Mendoza became the first female analyst to call the World Series on national radio. As somebody who grew up loving the game, what did it mean to you to call the World Series? The first time I ever went to a Major League Baseball game was in Dodger Stadium. And I watched Fernando Valenzuela and, you know, Fernando Mania and his influence on the Hispanic culture within in and around Los Angeles was so huge. Um, and, and that just really helped bring me and honestly my family into the Dodger bubble, if you will. And so then to see, you know, 32 years later, to be able to call the next time that they win the World Series, I think in that moment I was like, whoa. Orlando Sanchez, KGW Sports.